guys welcome back to our video today we're going to be giving you ramadan tips we're going to be doing 10 in total to help you prepare for ramadan at the moment we're about one week away i think one week and like two week, days a or week something. And a bit. yeah but yeah we thought that we'd do this video just to help you guys get a little bit more prepared so i'm going to share my five big tips and she's going to share hers so do you want to start okay number one watching as many Islamic videos as possible, listening to podcasts, you know, replacing music as well so mm -hmm. that you can get more into the Ramadan vibe. <clears throat> also, in the videos, looking at Mufti Meg, um videos that he makes, he makes them every Ramadan. He does like a Ramadan series, I believe. Yeah, and I feel like he series. had one that's like for 30 days and he filmed this probably... I think it was like two or three years ago. I don't know how up to date it is. I'll obviously try and put it in the link below just so you guys can go check it out. But yeah, guys, just type in Mufti Menk Ramadan series and yeah, you should have loads of videos. Very helpful. And a lot of there's a lot of women who've put out a lot of podcasts on Spotify that you can listen to. Mm -hmm. And they speak about um, their struggles that they have and how Islam has helped them. So it could be very beneficial for you. And also as well, what I think about podcasts which are really great is because you can listen to them on the go so if you're somebody who uses spotify for like music or apple music for instance at least that you can try to replace those things with podcasts instead and also as well i feel like they're just super great for anybody who likes to watch interviews on youtube my tip is um the muslim pro app guys i'm gonna put it down below um i think you can download it on most smartphones i'm not too sure but inshallah you can and the reason why i'm saying the muslim pro app because and again guys this isn't sponsored so i'm just saying this just because i personally use it and so does my sister use it and so does my partner um it helps you to track your prayers your fast and also read quran on there and literally you can highlight a especially like where you are within the Quran and you can go back to it you can highlight any words that you're not really familiar with so I think that's perfect and as well as it tracking your fast I think that's super great just because it makes you feel like you're meeting your goals and that you're doing the best that you can within the blessed month and obviously that is all of our main goals is from Ramadan so inshallah you'll try to download that app because I'm telling you it's super beneficial and you won't be disappointed and it's free yeah and it's so, good with the prayer times as well but it's, it's like it sets a little alarm yeah so what's your next one um i've got a bunch of books okay. to show so let's we'll start with the first one and um, this is the first book oh, that i seeds. got timeless seeds of advice um this book i actually got for a while back before i even reverted Guys, um, it's going to be off her first Ramadan as a Muslim. First one. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I fasted the last ones. Mm. But it wasn't really official. It wasn't official, but this is her official one. The official one. But this book really helped. It's got a lot of teachings in there and um, things that are for us to learn, things that we can incorporate in our day. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of encouraging words so that you don't feel alone. I know that, and I think you know, this book at the moment is currently under 10 pounds i think it's eight pounds something at the minute but again guys anything that we mentioned we'll try to link below yeah it's really it's really good and it's got so much how many pages in there? in there um uh, 100 i want to say like 134 maybe 134 you got 134 pages and really and truly i will tell you it is such a great book i finished it in like two weeks before Ramadan was even finished so it's a super easy read and also yeah. as well I feel like it's a perfect piece that you can keep going back to read because it's like there's constant things that you will forget and want to refer back to yeah what other and it's got chapters in it so you can read each chapter every day and there's this one as well a Muslim's woman's diary amazing this is yeah. really helpful it's so help it makes you feel more like a community mm -hmm. you're not really alone it does teach you different things that you will be able to know you know if you feel sudden guilt about sins or and it's kind of like a little diary sort of thing yeah, really it's like a diary as obviously as it says but it's literally like it's got um little like poems in there almost mm -hmm. and i think like it's super great especially like for reverts because we are both reverts and i genuinely enjoyed this book because i feel like number one it's an easy read number two it discusses a lot of the hardships that women do go through along with reverts as well and i feel like when sorry i got so many texts 
<laughs> I feel like when you are um, a revert, you're going through so many struggles and hardships that I feel like this is a great way to try and navigate all those feelings and emotions. So if you're looking for an easy read, again, something that's super affordable, you should get this book. Um, and especially as well as like a Muslim man, I think you can never go wrong with trying to learn more and gain more knowledge and also as well bring yourself a lot of peace and this book brings yeah. you exactly and that. And it highlights a lot of struggles that you may have with modesty. Mm -hmm. This is such a good book for that. And if you, especially if you want to start wearing a scarf this Ramadan or you want to start, you know, introducing abayas into your life, mm -hmm. it just lifts you up. It's very motivating as well. Yeah. So there's that one. And then I also got this little book, Fortress of the Muslim. This tells you a bunch of different sunnahs that is in the Quran. There's a bunch of different sunnahs that you can incorporate into your day every day. And literally as little as sitting down while you drink a sunnah. <laughs> Just like that. And it tells you a bunch of things that you can say when it's raining, before you leave the house, before you go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. before. Just a little bit of extra, you know, guidance, a little bit of extra help. And again, guys, it's another perfect book for us. Just because it gives you little things that you can begin to learn, not too long. And yeah, it's just easy to implement as well. Yeah, they've got the English, they've got the Arabic if needed. It's just, it's such a good, and it's small. So you can take it wherever you need it, you know. If you want to remember certain things, you want to learn certain things, it's really good for that purpose as well. Okay. Was that your last book or do you have another one? This one. Oh, I love this Quran guide. It's so beautiful. Just like look at the pattern. Absolutely patterns. love it. It's perfect for those who are trying to one learn Arabic and if you also just want to read it in English as well. Yeah, it's got both translations. It's got both translations, plus it also has more in there. It has some hadiths in there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn different ways, it teaches us more than just what's out, what else is in the Quran. It has mm -hmm. other sayings in there. Um, it goes deeper into the stories as well, so you can fully understand them as well. Different perspective. It's just... It's got, it's got everything in there. It's just amazing. Yeah, guys, she absolutely loves this Quran. Like, loves every it. single time. She's, she always has it. But this way, and we've got kind of a few, but this one is hers, literally. But I'm going to get myself one. Yeah, I don't really share this one. Yeah, she doesn't share it. But yeah, guys, I think but, I need my own. Um, the next thing I have to talk about is meal prepping. Guys, obviously, you know, in Ramadan, we're going to be fasting, we're going to be dehydrated, we're going to feel tired because our body's trying to get used to what's going on, and meal prepping is definitely the best thing that you can do. I started doing it last year, guys, super late, but I started meal prepping and it's the best thing ever because there's nothing worse than when you're hungry and you go shopping and you literally just start picking up random things just because you're hungry and it's not actual proper meal. So I would suggest that you make sure that you meal prep, either do it on a notepad or I'm gonna show you guys um, in this next clip now my um, Ramadan journal that I've created. There's two Ramadan journals, there's one that basically like just for anybody who's familiar with ramadan so that's either a born muslim or even a revert if you're familiar with ramadan and you don't need that much guidance there's one for that and then you've got the second journal which is specifically for reverts who obviously have recently converted and it's just giving you loads of support um i created this because i feel like i wanted this when i had converted and i felt like there was not a, lo a lot of information or support for reverts so yeah guys i'm going to show you that okay guys so these are the journals that i was speaking about this is the first one and it's called a revert journal and i absolutely love it it took me a while to create but yeah guys it's got so much in there if you go here it's got a little introduction page also as well it's got the five pillars of islam again guys it's just giving you a support to either refresh certain information that as a revert you may have forgotten or possibly if you're a new revert and you just want to learn the five pillars here it is also as well, we've got a page here dedicated to what you need to wear when praying because I know obviously when you're a revert, if you don't have access to getting any abayas or um, any um, jilbabs, it's really hard to think about what to wear. So we've got a page here to help you find those sort of things. Also here we've got um, what the five prayers are called also. And then we've got prayer accessories and on top of that we've got how to perform wudu guys that is 30 pages in total 
so literally you're not going to be short of any um information and we're going to link it down below um it's on our etsy store of how you can purchase this and it is under four pounds we've made it super affordable because we know that people are going through hard times and obviously during the cost of living it's really hard to get a hold of things that are good quality that will last you a long time it is a digital journal so it's an instant download so it's not you won't receive a physical item shipped to you but as soon as you purchase it you'll be able to download it instantly and use it you can also print it out if you want to do so so yeah guys it's got so much in there so make sure that you check it out i'm going to show you the next one now which is um a normal ramadan journal um if you're familiar with um obviously what ramadan expects and what you need to do so this one's a bit less in detail because the revert one obviously needs to touch on a lot more this is the normal ramadan one and as you can see muslims. yeah this is just for all muslims so as you can see we've got six important du'as on there we've got ramadan logs we also as well have like a note section for you guys to fill in so you can just share any of your ideas or how you're feeling also a quran tracker so similar to the muslim pro app but this is obviously something that you can have on your device and see more of a bigger form and you can literally um track how much quran you're reading next we also have as well an eid planner little budget sort of tracker so basically if you're a person who spends a lot of money on eid and you want to have gifts or plan for even yourself here's a little budget tracker to make sure you're not spending too much money because we know in this cost of living crisis everybody has to budget so yeah guys i'm going to link both of the journals down below if you want to see more on there go to our tiktok and go to our instagram and you'll be able to see more on them but inshallah you guys will find these super beneficial if you have any questions my dms are always open on instagram so just make sure that you message me this one is checking for events so you can go on a website called event bright they will show you a bunch of events that's local to your area where you can go to a lot of islamic talks and you can see mufti menk by the way yeah, guys we are so try inshallah we can see mufti menk this year we know that he came last year and i've seen recently that he came to london so i'm super excited that i'm gonna try my best to try and find tickets for us because he's just somebody that we are really inspired by we love to watch his videos on youtube and we also love to see him as well on instagram and tiktok so inshallah we'll be able to get tickets for those but eventbrite is perfect that even if you can't see mufti Met, there are so many other scholars that you can go to see and also loads of events for like muslims as well so make sure that you check out eventbrite that is something as well we'll have linked below you can go um, to also mosques as well okay. So you go to your local okay. mosque, they would also tell you about um, any talks that will be there. Yeah. Um, and go to mosque, meet other Muslims, especially if you're a Reva and you don't know that many. They are very friendly people. Of course, they will help you with anything that you need. Mm -hmm. And it's good to make those that kind of friendships with those people that are willing to go out of their way to go to a mosque and, you know, be... More. similar to yourself i feel like yeah. sometimes to perfect your dean it's all about your company mm -hmm. so if you can try and find people who have similar thoughts to you like that is really beneficial and it will help you in perfecting your dean so going to the mass trying to meet new people i know it might be scary but obviously if you're doing something that's gonna benefit your iman really and truly allah will make it easy for you inshallah so try learning new surahs as much mm -hmm. as possible um, I think the first surah that I learned was Surah Al Ikhlas. Mm -hmm. It's the quick, it's the easiest one to be fair. To try learn, learn that one, then go to Anas, then Al Falak. Well, those three are really, really important to learn. Um, I'm pretty sure Ikhlas, learning Ikhlas is like learning one third of the Quran. The yeah, Quran. I'm I've pretty heard sure that's that. what that is. But um, yeah, try learning the surahs, make it fun for yourself who may be struggling obviously and you're new to the religion and you probably are struggling in terms of getting your family to come to terms with it i know that those are a lot of hardships for a lot of reverts in family not really accepting their new decision so there is like pocket sort of they're like mini um, pocket prayer mats that you can get from Morrison's and Asda. Also as well, eBay has them and so does Amazon. And literally, they're concealed in a little um, 
packaging like a little ziplock bag which is so small you can fit it into anything so guys if you haven't been following our Ramadan decor series that is up so you can go check that out guys it's not something that you must do but i feel like it's something that you should try to do to just give that ramadan vibe um i feel like it brings families more together it makes them more excited i feel like if you create a great atmosphere around it especially if you have children i feel like it's something that will really make your kids um be more warm to um i feel like it's hard for kids also as well to get a grasp on what ramadan is just because it's not really well where we're from um being in the uk we don't get to see many um advertisements or promotions about ramadan whereas with christmas you get so much so i feel like it's really important that for your um kids and even for yourself even if it's something simple of like just getting a new candle and that's the candle that you're going to burn every ramadan or um a ramadan banner balloons anything literally just try your best as i said go to our ramadan series we've got literally um affordable items and luxury items that you can shop depending on what your price bracket is and again as i've mentioned if you do not have the money to do those things again ramadan decor is something that you can choose to do or not to do it is not a must it is not a must it's mainly just ramadan is about connecting with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making sure that you're proving your iman do you have any more Allah? love and um, one more learning more about islam during this time there's a lot of cartoons that you can watch and i know you might be thinking cartoons why would i watch cartoons they're actually a lot easier guys the ramadan cartoons i watched a lot um they're on youtube and i watched them a lot when i was trying to make the decision on whether i wanted to convert or not and i'm telling you they're so great because obviously because they're kid cartoons they're super basic yeah. and you can literally just and they, watch them they break down a lot of things easier and mm -hmm. way better so you can understand more and it's just yeah it's good watch them watch them and a lot. Fact, we all have an inner child so even if you aren't a reva and you just want to watch it just be kind to your inner child i just watch something that's super simple not too intricate not that your brain has to move like a hundred miles per hour just to watch it it's super simple and it's fun yeah and also if you have kids allow them to watch that instead of obviously watching something else on television this is more educational guys really and truly because we have to obviously even though you should be praying before ramadan and in ramadan if this is the first time that you're going to be attempting to like um pray and um, wear more modest clothes abayas and thorbs are your go-to you don't have to worry about like if you have jeans on then you have to make sure that you have a long top to cover or a long hoodie or a cardigan or a coat whereas if you just wear an abaya you're prepared you're prepared whether you have to pray whether you have to go out whether you have to like just do simple things like um around the house if family turn up or whatever you are prepared so i'm going to link some affordable abaya places that we shop again this is not sponsored by no means these are just abayas that we love to um, wear that are super easy and the prayer um abayas like are so easy just because you don't have to worry about changing or your sleeves coming up like if you notice on this one um this abaya it's not really like cuffed to my arm so i have to make sure that it's got like a little button so you see this one we'll link um down below i think this one's from hassani and co but um this one this is called um so this is from modestly by aisha i believe and as you can see it's a wide sleeve one these are obviously perfect because then you can layer um and put a lot more underneath and not have to worry about it being so tight but as you can see there's a huge gap so i have to make sure that i have something underneath um such as this long top so yeah guys we're going to link some abase and folds underneath if there's anything else that we have forgotten guys we are one on my please go in the comments and list what you guys think that we should have mentioned so inshallah when we all reach the blessed month of ramadan make sure you check out our journals down below and we're going to be daily vlogging guys for ramadan yeah, so tune inshallah. in for that there's going to be a lot of content mm -hmm. a lot of cooking oh yeah i can't wait to cook guys she's going to be learning to cook listen I'm, i know a little bit i know uh, a little bit we'll see but yeah guys anyway we love you lots and yeah take care peace <laughs>